What up folks, I'm UltraZilla and today I have a review of the Bandai America Godzilla 1968 and Godzilla 2000 vinyl reissues. These are the Walmart reissues, my zillions. I'm here with UltraZilla Jr. today and we're celebrating Yay! the 65th anniversary of Godzilla. We had a couple of Godzilla reviews here for you. We recently got these at Walmart. Um, these are two of the, you know, there's a few of these reissues uh, out there. And when we saw them, we realized they were different than the ones we have. Now, the 68 is different just in paint. But the 2000 was completely different than the mo movie Monster Series 1 that we had. And I thought it was the same. Uh, which it is not. So we're going to be taking a look at both of these together. Really excited to do this on the anniversary. Uh, very fitting. So let's do it. Articulation on the 68. You got arm swivels, leg swivels, and one tail swivel. So five POA. On Millennium, you have arm swivels, Thigh swivels, and no tail. It is glued in for whatever reason. I don't know why they couldn't have <laughs> just made that a swivel. So four POA on the Millennium. Taking a look at the Millennium Godzilla here. Really nice sculpt. The dorsal fins starting out here are amazing. I really like the sculpt and the paint is pretty good. I just like the glossy tips here done in purple very very nice i feel like out of the millenniums i have this almost translates the best for me because it's subtle uh and it looks good the tail is shaped almost like an s or a j or however you want to decide to describe it but yeah it looks good sculpt throughout is very nice lots of texture on this one very very nice the nails are done in kind of like a off-white there. Looks pretty good. Painted pretty fine, actually, I gotta say. Uh, on the feet and on the thing. I got some little chip in here, but I don't know if that's came like that or if it was like something that happened here. We haven't had these guys too long, honestly. Um, just got them, I don't know, a month ago or so. Maybe a little, maybe a month and a half. Could have been, could have been two months by now. <laughs> Um, but yeah, they look pretty good. Teeth, same color as the nails. Got a little bit of chipping right at the end, but nothing crazy. And it might not even be chipping. It might just be like, it's just not painted all the way through. But where is, there is paint. It's pretty clean. Tongue is pretty clean as well. The eyes have the big white pupil inside. Uh, and that's pretty good. I think that looks fine. The head sculpt overall is very nice. We'll get, if you get it even closer to it. There we go. Looks pretty good. I dig it. So yeah, hey, this is not bad at all. He is in this kind of like charging pose um, with one foot up. That's, I'm, I'm a little iffy on, on the pose to tell you the truth. Oh, also sculpts here is really good. Really, really cool. I, I like it. It looks, it's a good representation uh, of this Godzilla for sure. So yeah, I'm not 100% sure I like the heel being up like that, but it isn't the worst thing either. So yeah, not so bad. And the 68, which is, uh, you know, my second go with this figure. Um, it looks pretty good. It's got a more darker paint scheme. And we're gonna, we're gonna look at these figures uh, side by side uh, momentarily, but First, just giving it its own due here. Nails are done in like a gray. You do see a little bit of chipping already, but they it looks fine. It's more sprayed on, more of a, you know, Bandai Japan type of feel there. The head sculpt is pretty good. You can see in the eyes that the paint would be a little different. You see where the sculpt is and where they decided to paint um, is a little bit different. Uh, <laughs> it isn't sloppy though, so that's good. I mean, unless you look at it really close, you won't even notice that piece of sculpt work. 
Uh, the teeth are okay. You know, not bad. Not not badly painted. And the mouth is kind of a weird color. Can't really place it. It's almost like a dark skin or skin color. It's it's interesting. Um and the tongue is, you know, the same color. So it's very interesting. The sculpt on this guy overall is pretty good. The dorsal fins look fine, kind of puffy, uh, which I like. It's my type of Godzilla. Puffy dorsal fins. You know, this guy all the way through the 70s was my Godzilla's really uh, the one I like. And here you got that kind of hooking action <laughs> uh, tail. Uh, and that looks pretty decent. I like the sculpt on this guy, I do. I'm just so used to this sculpt already because we've had it for so long that it's just, it's just cool to look at it here because I haven't before. And I dig it. I mean, proportions are great. The stance is awesome. It's just so, it's, it's so classically perfect Godzilla to me. So yeah, this is great. For your size comparisons, first off, we're going to start out with the uh, previous version just so I can give you a quick look as well. Obviously they stand pretty much the same he's a little bit warped away his foot kind of comes out now i don't know what happened it's just like very off compared to to this one you can see this one comes up a little bit as well but it's a little bit different i think the nails are painted pretty much the same he does have paint on his knees this guy uh this one the new one does not now the i don't know how well you can tell but the overall color here is darker than it is here um and i dig that i think that's awesome the eyes here are more full on the old one you can just see big pupils in there fully painted in the hole and this one is not the mouth is more pink here than it is here this is yeah this is not pink at all so this one's more pink so there you have it. And the dorsal fins, let's see, besides the, the scratches of the old, they're pretty much the same. Again, the, the body color is a little darker here. The mouths are different. The eyes are uh, painted in differently. And he's got knee uh, paint where the new one does not. And let's bring in the Godzilla 2K to go with the old Godzilla here as well, just to give you a proper size comparison. Here they are with the uh, movie Monster Series Godzilla 2000. And you can see how much... I mean, these are great. I do like them. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, I just I just like the subtleness of this one. Um, it works for me. But you can see, totally different. Different sculpts altogether. Um, it's not much of a comparison there as the 68s I have are. <laughs> so, But there you go. That's size comparison. You can see these guys are bigger. Here they are with the brand new Sega Premium Godzilla King of the Monsters. Here's Gigan, Burning Godzilla, Biolanti, Mecha King Ghidorah, King Caesar, which has also been reissued with these guys. This is not the reissue one. This is from 2013, I believe. I think they're what, Bandai Creations originally, maybe? And here's the 54, which is uh, one of the figures in this Walmart line currently out right now. And we got Ultrazilla Jr. back here for his thoughts on these two. What are your thoughts, bud? I like it. Which ones do you like better? You like that one? Why? Because he has purple spikes. Because he has his purple spikes? Yes. It's pretty good, right? And, and this guy? Do you like him better than the one that you have now? Uh, I don't. That guy's cool more than the other one. Why? Because his, his, his teeth is blacker and his toenails is a little blacker. Are they? His toenails? You think his toenails are darker? Oh, yeah. Just a slight bit, but he is right. I didn't even get that before, but they are a slight bit darker on this one. <laughs> Overall, he's darker, right, bud? Yes. Yeah. You can really tell right here at the base of the uh, dorsal fins that it's much darker. So yeah, pretty cool. So thank you Did for you your thoughts. That? Yeah. And what are your thoughts on Godzilla? It's his birthday. I like Godzilla. 
Godzilla. Yeah, it's like one of your first favorite characters, right? Mm -hmm. Happy to say. <laughs> Got Ultra Zilla Jr. into Godzilla right away. So, I mean, you have anything to say to Godzilla? Happy birthday, Godzilla. And my final thoughts, I like these two. Um, I definitely always liked this 68, but the uh, Millennium Godzilla, he's pretty cool as well. It's not my favorite pose, but it works. I mean, they're cheap, you can get them at Walmart. <laughs> you know, there's not a lot to dislike, so that's good. Um, this is fun. I, I like that I updated this guy from my collection. Now I have one for Ultra Zilla Jr., one for myself. And it works because it's always been a nice mold, the 68 I'm talking about. I never had this particular um, Millennium Godzilla, which is good. And those spikes are enormous. So <laughs> very nice pieces. Again, if you don't have them, go get them. You know, they're cool ones to have in the collection for sure. Uh, for an adult or a kid, you know, I, I think they work out very well. They look fine on the shelf and they're good for play. So there you go, guys. That's my review. Hope you dug it on the 65th anniversary of Godzilla. And if you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Buy me a coffee on coffee if you dig what I do. Become a zillion today. Till next time, peace out, peeps.